Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is me, brought to you by my living room, brought to you by a thunderstorm that has knocked out all of my power. So I get to record voiceovers. But that's irrelevant. What we're here to do is uh, a request from one of you lovely subbies. Uh, she requested some Divergent Nails, so let's go do that. So as always, you want to apply your base coat, and I'm using my favorite, which is Milky White by Color Club. I'm also using a liner brush in Cleaner, and I'm going to take the brush and dip that directly into my bottle of nail polish. And be sure to swirl it around so that you remove the excess and keep your uh, brush nice and thin. Next, you want to anchor your pinky for stability, and uh, yeah, let's draw something. What's this that we're drawing? We're going to start with Erudite, and this is um, an eye that we're drawing. So. Just, you know, follow me for the next couple seconds. Now I'm doing this in real time because I want you guys to see exactly how slow I move. You don't want to be too slow because then your polish is going to dry. And then you don't want to be too quick because um, you want to apply nice, fluid, even pressure so that you get really thin lines. Now to make the pupil, you can either use a dotting tool or you can just take the brush directly from your nail polish. And then I just use a tiny dot of white for a highlight. And we're almost done. Whoa! <laughs> See guys, I wasn't lying. Alright, so now we're going to uh, create an outline nail. And I like to do this by outlining the sides and then uh, going around the cuticle line. It may take some time, but you can get it perfect. And next, uh, it went a little something like this. But uh, I didn't like it, so so basically I just went back to where I started and I applied a top coat and a matte coat to my pinky and then polished the rest of my nails like you see here. And to do my half moon manicure, I just use my regular brush and then I go in with the liner brush to touch it up, go around the side walls, and uh, you just want to make sure that you take your polish and drag down any excess that kind of pulls at the top. I then applied some top coat and then I just kind of threw some studs on there. This was um, actually really last minute and I was trying to be quick. But um, all of the studs that I do use, I will list them below and there will be links so that you can click directly to them. But this one I wanted to show you is a little bit different. So this is actually a, um, I guess it's a really thin metal foil. And what you do is you just want to flip it to the matte side and then I'm using my tweezers to just bend it ever so slightly so that it doesn't sit on the nail completely flat. You want it to kind of conform to your nail bed and stay in place. So you see? Very subtle. And that's basically it guys. You just want to um, apply your top coat and you want to kind of gently press over your 3D elements and then kind of uh, stroke it out to get rid of any air bubbles. Don't forget your cuticle oil. No, I did not forget my cuticle oil, but there's my thumb. And um, this is the final look. And here's a random fact. I still haven't seen this movie, so nail polish freak, I hope I did you proud. Bye guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you did, you know how to let me know. Give me a thumbs up. So which one was your favorite look? One or two? Let me know in the comments. Okay, right here.